Hello, students. In this session, we will look at the suprarenal gland. This illustration shows the blood supply of the kidney in the suprarenal gland. On the right side, the middle suprarenal artery arises as a direct lateral branch of the abdominal aorta. On the left side, the left renal artery gives off the inferior left suprarenal artery. The right and left renal arteries both originate from the abdominal aorta, can be seen in this image. Both gonadal arteries also arise from the abdominal aorta. On the right side, the right gonadal artery crosses over the inferior vena cava. Additionally, the cut end of the superior mesenteric artery is visible in the illustration completing the view of the vascular supply to these organs. This illustration shows the arterial supply of the right suprarenal gland. Superior to the gland, the cut ends of the inferior vena cava and the hepatic veins can be seen. The right suprarenal gland receives its blood supply from multiple sources, one artery arising from the right inferior phrenic artery and another from the right renal artery. Posterior to the right inferior phrenic artery, the right cruse of the diaphragm is visible. Finally, the right renal artery and the cut end of the inferior vena cava are also clearly shown, completing the view of the arterial supply of the right suprarenal gland. This illustration shows the blood supply of the left suprarenal gland. In the image, the cut end of the left inferior phrenic vein can be seen. The left suprarenal artery arises directly from the abdominal aorta supplying the gland. Additionally, a left polar or aberrant artery supplies the upper pole of the left kidney. Posteriorly, the left crust of the diaphragm, the left psoas major muscle, and the left sympathetic trunk form the posterior relations of the left suprarenal gland and kidney.